So this question is a diagram question. So I call it a diagram question because I call really any question that provides some visual input, I categorize it as a diagram question. So that I know um, anytime I see anything visual, whether it's a graph, a table, a chart, um, a shape, I am looking first and foremost to label the diagram with any additional information, right? Any information that's been provided by the question. And then once I've labeled it with everything I can, then typically um, finding the answer is not so difficult. So this question says in the figure above, BD is parallel to AE, right? So let me just put my little parallel symbols as my labeling here. Now, what does that mean? If those lines are parallel, then that means that this angle must be 90 because it corresponds to that angle there, angle A. It also would tell me that these angles here are the same as well. Um, what else do we have? What is the length of CE? So what I'm trying to find is this entire length here. Okay, so what else can I label here? Well, I have a 6 here and an 8 here. I could figure out what CD is because CDB, right now I'll just draw it over here, triangle, right triangle, C, D, B, has a 6 and an 8. Anytime I'm trying to find the third side, I know that I can use Pythagorean theorem. Right, so if you have two sides of a right triangle and you just have one side missing, you can use a Pythagorean theorem, which says A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Just remembering that the C must always be the hypotenuse, the longest side of the right triangle. But something else that I look at is... A special right triangle, a three, four, five right triangle. Okay, so those show up. That ratio of sides shows up on this test. So um, in this case, what I notice is that I technically do have a three, four, five right triangle here, right? If I think about multiplying everything by two, I'd get three times two is six, right? So there's my six. Four times two is eight, so there's my eight. And 5 times 2 is 10, which means this side here must be 10. So I've labeled this. I don't know how to figure out what DE is. I don't know how to figure out what AB or BA is. I know that AE is 18. So there's a little trick that I've learned um, that tells me on this test, typically if I see a shape on top of another shape, right? So if, for instance, I have triangle DCB with its 10 and 8 and 6, but I also have the larger triangle, E, A, C, with this right angle, and it's 18. And technically, C, A would be like a 8 plus X, let's call it, right? Because I know, I know this part is 8, so let's call that part X. And I know that C, E is technically like a, let's call it a 10 plus Y, right? Because I know this part is 10. And this missing part here is y. So let's see how this works. So what else do I know? I know that this angle E is congruent to this angle D. I also know that both triangles share this angle C here. So those are congruent. Which means that what I have here are two similar triangles. Okay, so anytime I have similar triangles, I can use proportions. So what can I do here? If I'm trying to figure out what y is or 10 plus y is, I can say, well, the ratio of the smaller triangle's hypotenuse to the larger triangle's hypotenuse must be equal to the ratio of the vertical side of the small triangle to the vertical side of the larger triangle. That's, that's what you can do with uh, similar triangles. Obviously, I could have also included the 8 plus x. Because I'm not trying to find x, I decided to focus my attention on um, the hypotenuse right, which contains the y that I'm looking for, and then the vertical side, which contains um, no variables, right, so I'm, I'm certain that that's 6 and 18. So how do I solve this? Well, I can cross multiply, so 10 times 18 is 180. 10 plus y times 6 is equal to, let's just write it all out, 6 times 10 plus y. So I have 180 equals 60 plus 6y. Subtract 60 from both sides. And I have 120 equals 6y divide by 6. And what I'm left with here is that y is, I'm sorry, divide by 6. 
y is equal to 20. But again, the question is not asking for y, right? Because y only represents de. The question wants ce. So if uh, c to d is 10 and y I now know is 20, then the distance from c to e must be 30, right? So ce equals 30. And there is your final answer to this question.